As I was doing some light reading in the document for Anthropic and how to use the tools as you do, I found out that they have a Google Sheets add-on where you can call Claude or any of the other language models that Anthropic make into your Google Sheets. And let me show you why this is such a handy tool to have. Let's say I've got a random list of countries and I need to quickly make a short sentence on what is the most popular thing to do in that country, right? Silly example, but trust me, you'll you'll understand where I'm going with this. I'm going to call Claude. I already have the extension installed. I'll show you how to get that in a second, but it's Claude for sheet. Good name. I'm going to call it by going equals Claude, the name. You can also do this with ChatGPT with a with other with other tools, but this is quite handy. And I'm going to insert the prompt here and do a little bit of formatting so I can call the cell with the information of that country or what that country is. So here I'm going to say in one very short sentence, tell me what the most popular thing to do in the country called X in the country named. I'm going to go and call this and and finish this off with saying uh, ensure that your response is no longer than 20 words. And then I close that prompt with a closing bracket and click OK. And it should be referencing Bhutan now, the country. I hope I pronounced that correctly. And it seems that it's working, trekking through the stunning mounds of Himalayan landscapes and visiting the ancient Buddhist monasteries and activities in Bhutan. So now that I've got that selected and I'm happy with the output, I can click and drag and create that same little sentence, but for all the different countries, Uruguay, Estonia, Namibia, Fiji, Kazakhstan, and it looks like it's taking a little while, but after I've clicked and dragged everything down, I pretty much have a beautiful one sentence explanation of the best thing to do in Fiji, snorkeling in Kazakhstan, exploring the vast scenics, uh, engaging traditional nomadic activities, Honduras and all these other things, which is pretty cool. The capacities of this is kind of endless in terms of what you can do with this. There is a tiny little fault that if you do all of them in the one go, I do get this deferred message, which I'm still trying to figure out what that is for. I think it's calling that API a little bit too many times in the one go. You can also get a bit more funky or specific with the prompt that you want to use. And they give you all the information here within the little output that pops out. Once you've installed this little extension, you can um, tell it which language model you want to use from chat, from OpenAI, such as Claude 3 Sonnet or anything else that you prefer using. If you want to install this in your Google Sheets uh, so you can access it, you need a couple of things. One, you need to go to this link, which is Claude for Sheets. I'll leave a link to this in the video description below. And also you will need an API key from Claude. Now, if you don't know how to get an API key, I've done a video on how to get that and how to get started with the console from Anthropic. But once you go and create an account on console.anthropic, they give you $5 free credits if you verify it with your phone. Once you do, you can get your API key and you can create an API key, name it whatever you want, test. And this is the API key that you need to copy and paste in this little in this little version where it says Anthropic Key, it'll ask you, it'll prompt you to do that when you first install it. And once you do that, every time you wanna use ChatGPT within your Google Sheets, you just make sure that it's activated by pressing Claude Sheets and then opening sidebar. Oh, you can also press recalculate or deferred apparently, and it should go through these two. Yeah, beautiful, there you go, nice. A solution for that. But then you can use Claude within Sheets uh, for a lot of things. We use it to rewrite meta descriptions on mass, for example, and a bunch of other things. Really handy tool to have. The beautiful thing here is that you're using your own API credits from Claude and they do give you $5 for free and using Claude is very, very cheap, particularly the new version Sonnet 3.5, which you can use with this API. You can actually do the same thing with OpenAI's ChatGPT. There's a bunch of tools here that you can use. I've got GPT for Sheets installed, this one here, uh, but you do need to pay for that instead of just using your own API key. The implementations here are quite large and this is just really up to, left to your imagination. But if you really need to do a lot of little tiny repetitive tasks within Google Sheets a lot, you might wanna try the plugin and might solve a lot of your problems that you're trying to do. 
If you wanna learn how to use this stuff for marketing and how to make automations with the OpenAI and Anthropic, how to use these tools to your advantage, I suggest you check out our AI Ranking and Automation Hub community. It's a lot of fun. We have weekly meetings. There is a lot of classrooms there, meaning a lot of tutorials that you can watch. To how to get started with the playground if you want to get to know that and how to do AI powered SEO. I'll leave that in the video description below as well. But if you want to learn more about Anthropic and more about really cool tools like the, the plugins GPT for Sheets or Claude for Sheets, just leave it in the comments below what you want to see next and I'll make that video for you. Thanks for watching. Cheers.